Okay, I'm back doing a re-listen, so this is pretty chill. I'm going to re-listen to this project. I'm not going to like come back to it again and again. Although, maybe that would be helpful, I don't know. But I have heard this before. I heard it a few times, okay? You know, before I had this channel... Actually, I believe I had the cha this channel when this album came out, and I did listen to it, but this was like very early on. I think I was doing YouTube videos for... Three months. I don't even know how many subscribers I had back then. Probably not that much. Not even close uh, to the number I have now. But, you know, at that point in time, did I think Cemetery was, like, relevant uh, to my channel? Like, people would want to see that? I had no fucking clue. I had no clue what people wanted to see from me. Um, but I did not like Cemetery on my first introduction. I rated this a half star on the 20th of August. In 2020, so just a little bit less than a month when I listened to this album. And, you know, even though coming to Cemetery now, liking Cemetery stuff, um, I look back on this moment in time, and I'm not so surprised that I gave it this score. I'm not really so surprised. You know, to me, Cemetery is a thing that you either get it or you don't. If someone told me they hated Cemetery, I wouldn't be like, how do you not like this genius music? You know what I mean? It's This is not accessible for everybody. It really isn't. And I do think it's funny, you know, this being my introduction to Cemetery, not liking it, and now this sort of being like that album, you know, that, that they're... Well, I'd say maybe Rainbow Bridge 3 is, um, is maybe more popular. Um, this is like their, you know, most critically received album. Uh, Project. So, without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, my headache sort of went away. I was dealing with shit fucking headache today, but you know, hair wet because I needed to bathe away the headache. Um, but I wasn't sure if I was going to do this video because I was like, bro, if there's one artist you do not listen to and your head's feeling like shit, it's probably Cemetery. But fuck it, okay? <laughs> Okay, I remember this song quite well, to be honest, the Half a Lump song. I know this was a single too, so I, I recall listening to this prior to this album coming out, but it's it's chill. It's chill track. In many ways, this song is catchy for reasons that the vast majority of Cemetery songs are catchy. Um, I will say, to me, listening to it, it feels a little bit more laid back. It's not as aggressive. Um, I kind of find this funny, like, them saying, like, we them half a lumps. Like, uh, I am already aware that when it comes to Cemetery's music, right, um, it's in relation to horror lyrics, like horror references many times, but, you know, half a lumps is, like, this, like, horror character in fucking Winnie the Pooh. Like, there's a Winnie the Pooh movie, too, about half a lumps. Like, I recall owning that as a kid, so, like, it's, there is this, like, sense of, of silliness here, too, right? Like, this sound is discussing a fucking Winnie the Pooh character. Um, <laughs> I get it, okay? But it's so weird. <laughs> I still love the spirit. I don't care, 
music i will say like coming back to this song not as engaging as the first track chorus sure is catchy but throughout the track i'm still like expecting a little bit more maybe right it's not everything i've um ever desired um i will say at the same time there's still good horror references throughout it right that makes it sort of interested there is this like this silly self-aware nature in a way right um and on a production wise it sounds cool um, but I'm still feeling like it could do more to, as a song, sound-wise, I, I do think so. This song is easily the best one. Uh, I, the catchiest one. Um, not in this too. Th I think this song. I'm less paying attention to the substance of the lyrics, like thematically, uh, from the first two tracks. But I'm really liking the verses from them. I really think like flow wise, like that is engaging me. There's a certain sense of like energy on this one that I'm I'm connecting with. I think. Um, and that little synthy thing on here for this one. Yeah, this is a, this is a fun track. This is a fun track. First one, uh, I'm fucking with that. I think it's silly. Second track, I don't mind, but it's it's there's still some left to be designed for me. But tourniquet, I'm I'm certainly that's up there for me. <laughs> I mean, it still fits on this album, but for me, this feels like a sound 
that's even darker or noisier or worrying about the sound compared to any of the other tracks. In the sense too where I feel like this specific song, Gear God, could fit on an album with songs sounding more like this. Um, it, and it could work, it would change the tone a little bit, I think. Uh, I remember this one too! Okay, I, 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 I remember this shit. listening to this album, I would say, barring maybe Louisville Slugger, I would say these the four songs out of five are all like singles capabilities. In the sense where, you know, when it comes to Cemetery, I will be like, okay, um, as an album, it feels like there's a lot of retread. Um, but then sometimes, right, there's a song that definitely has that single vibe that stands out. And here, though, I will say lyrically, even though, you know, what they're trying to discuss is similar, I would say all of the songs have a very specific image to them. Even Louisville Slugger, right? Like, that song trying to tell you about this specific fucking, um, baseball bat and how it's gonna be used to fucking, you know, beat the shit out of someone, kill someone, right? Um, this is an impressive album so far. And it's ten songs, I think... I think maybe the albums have a little bit more than 10 songs, usually. Um, but okay, I am enjoying this. <laughs> tracks, like this would be ranked number five in a sense of favoritism, I think Louvius Slug is still my least favorite. This doesn't have that singles capability like those other four tracks, but this is a weird song. I will say listening to this, I'm like, oh, okay, this, I can really sense the difference uh, of this sound uh, when it comes uh, to what I've heard from Cemetery before, this is standing out, especially that, that hook, that, that with Sigil, right, like that singing of it, it's it's covered with this this noise, right? I'm not really feeling like hi-hats take this certain focus as much as they uh, usually do with songs. Uh, so this is a peculiar sound. I'm, I'm kind of uh, respecting um, this track making it, for sure. Well, let's continue on. I'm 
between him and Ghost Mountain. I don't know the specifics. I probably, I've heard it before, but I don't actually know. It's a shame. I think they work well together. I really do. I know most of the fans think this way as well. Is this a cover of Goodbye Horses? I love Goodbye Horses. That's one of my favorite tracks, bro. Nobody really knows who the cute Lazarus is, too. And this is that one song they released. I find that it Goodbye. I feel like they made a cover of this with some sounds of the lambs. favorite track this cover though like it, it changes the pacing of everything I, I think it's a cool addition <laughs> Cemetery and Ghost Mountain. Out of all of the projects I've heard from Cemetery, um, mostly because I mean with Ghost Mountain it's just him as a collaboration with Cemetery, this is the most entertaining. Going throughout this, this is the most entertaining project. Is it my favorite? 
I don't know. It's certainly up there. Uh, again, they've been a very consistent group for me, um, quality-wise, for sure. I don't, I don't know. Like, for me, this album is not all about the bangers, because I feel like there's been, like, harder songs from them that I've enjoyed, but this is certainly about being the strangest. This is certainly about being the most creative. Uh, being aware of what it's trying to do. Um, and I think this has got a weird track listing too, for sure, where I feel like the first half is what's filled with the bangers, like what's expected from them, and the second half is very strange. Like number six, a very noisy uh, uh, track. Uh, seven, I feel like it really, uh, in a way, reminds me of more cloudy rap, not in this horrorcore scene, like the way it's sounding, if you could take away some of the sound from it, Parts of it would remind you of uh, another, again, because no one else makes rap sound like Cemetery. And then there's the fucking Q Lazarus, uh, Goodbye Horses cover. Nazgul is a very, very, again, noisier track. Um, not energetic in the same way as their songs. Um, and feels like it's singing in a, a pop fashion for sure. And then this weird country element to Cleaver Valley. So, so this is odd, you know, it's really taking me in directions I wasn't fully um, expecting. What do I think about it all together? I'm not sure, okay? It's definitely a seven and a half at its lowest, but it could get the eight. It could get the eight because I, I do feel like as a full coherent project, um, it knows exactly what it's what it's trying to do. Um, I feel listening to this too, because coming to certain projects from them, uh, I felt like okay, I'm getting too much retread lyrically. Here, I would say I'm not really feeling them. Uh, and also too, I do think Ghost Mountain helps the quality of this album in a way to potentially get an innate because I think his singing adds a, a new value. There's certain hits that I get from him uh, that you know. Sound-wise, not usually from Cemetery. Um, so yeah, shit, eh? Seven and a half, eight. I have to give it a score. I'm not really gonna come back to it. Um, so right now, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. I, I'm gonna keep it at a seven and a half for the video. Mostly not gonna give it the eight just because of songs like Goodbye Horses and Cleaver Valley, um, and and mm, because I I do feel like they're not there. I'm not having the entertainment in the same way. I think they're funny, I think they're cool, but it's not, uh, sonically, I'm enjoying it to that certain degree. And also, too, uh, not going to give it the A, just because I do feel like the first half, it's front-loaded. I think the front uh, of this is just a, a tad uh, better. But it's cool. I still like this. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, uh, I, have, I think Screaming Forest is the only cemetery I still need to do. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any Lucy's, but, uh, but if there's anything else, you just put a comment down below. And uh, thank you for watching. Peace.